Hi guys, it's Christine. I wanted to come on real quick, just share something that came to my mind. And so I just wanted to say that I just had something that came to my mind and I wanted to share it before I forgot. So the thing that came to my mind was you can wear a brown paper bag over your head and people will still have a problem with you. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. You can wear a brown paper bag over your head and there will be people that will still have a problem with you. Do you wanna know why? Because it's not about your hair. It's not about your nails. It's not about the makeup that you wear. It's not about the clothes that you wear. It is not about anything and everything that you do with your physical appearance outwardly. And the Lord, the Lord shared this with me. I want to say like about a month or two ago, because I was really crying out to the Lord and I was really praying to him and saying, you know, God, what is it? You know, I, I was really thinking of like really just dumbing down like my whole outer appearance just to um, be, you know, just be like blend in, just be under the radar, blend in with everybody else, um, not do anything, you know, to make myself like, just, just be really dowdy and like purposely make myself look bad. And the Lord revealed this to me. And when I was praying to him and he said, it's not anything that you're doing. And it's not anything that you're wearing. It's not your hair. It's not your nails. It's not your makeup. It's not the clothes that you wear. It's nothing has nothing to do with your outward style or beauty. Now, get don't get me wrong. Although that is something that people initially see when they meet. It's not something that is the reason why people are repelled by you and the Lord revealed that to me and he said it's because of my spirit that's within you and I just was amazed when the Lord spoke that to me and it was like the Lord was saying to me you could literally wear a brown paper bag over your head and people would still be able to tell the difference between you and others because of the light that is within you. And I felt very encouraged when the Lord shared that word with me. And I really felt sad at the same time, knowing that, you know, it's, it was encouraging in the sense where it felt like it's, there's nothing that I'm doing wrong. I can't change the way that I look. I can't change my face. I can't change, you know, those things about me. And even if I could change them, even if I could change them, it's not, that's not it. It's just the light that's within me. And, and I just, you know, and it made me think of the Lord and like, even just like what he had to go through, you know, with the rejection and with the ridicule and with the mocking and with the jealousy and with the anger and with the envy and with people trying to kill him. And I really was able to identify with that. I really can identify with Christ and his suffering in that way. And the Bible also talks about how um, to some people who, who are in the Lord and are walking with God and really walking in his ways and in his word, we are like the smell of life. But to those that are perishing, we are the aroma of death. 
And so I just really wanted to come on and share that if that's something that you're struggling with or you've ever struggled with or you've just said, you know, maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm, 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 I'm doing it up too much. Maybe I need to change something about, you know, the way that I dress or the way that I wear my hair or the makeup that I wear. And maybe I should just like, you know, dumb myself down so that others won't be so intimidated or insecure or jealous or envious or whatever. I'm letting you know right now that that was the word that God gave me, that it doesn't matter be what you do. It, it doesn't matter if you change your hair, doesn't matter if you change the clothes you wear, doesn't matter if you wear makeup or you don't wear makeup. It has nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing to do with that. It is solely because of the fact that you carry the, you carry the aroma of Christ. You carry the fragrance of Christ and people will pick that up even if you had a brown paper bag over your head and because it's spiritual and it has nothing to do with the physical and that was very encouraging to me because I feel like there's a lot of people out there and I know I'm not the only one that has gone through stuff like that and just the rejection and just people meeting you like right off the bat and not liking you for no apparent reason at all they don't even know your name you can just walk into a room and people will just pinpoint you and they'll just target you as someone that they don't like and it has nothing to do with you it's because you are the fragrance of Christ and that is the the, the, that is the smell of death to those who are perishing but to those who are walking with the Lord and to those who are walking in the ways of, of Christ and walking with him as his disciple we are the fragrance of life I just really wanted to come on here and share that and let you know that you're not alone and you're definitely not going crazy. And if that's something that you've ever had to to go through, just know that um, it doesn't matter what you do. Don't change any. Basically, I really felt like the Lord was saying to me, don't change anything. Don't change anything you're doing. Don't change anything you're not doing. Don't start doing stuff that, you know, you haven't done or stop doing stuff that you've been doing. It has nothing to do with the outward appearance. And um, so anyway, I hope you found that helpful. And please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.